Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you some high-end decor that is made for cheap. I created Kirkland's dupes and this video is also part of a collaboration. I'm going to talk about it after the first DIY. For the first DIY, I saw this beautiful glass cloche at Kirkland's and of course the price is way out of my budget. So I knew immediately I could recreate this for way, way less. So uh, first thing, I actually took this Dollar Tree cloche that is plastic, not glass, but still, you will see how beautiful it turned out. Then I took these two plastic bowls that are also from the Dollar Tree. They come in a package of 10, and this is just a lid of something that I had at home. Now I'm going to first go ahead and put the hot glue on a base of one of the plastic bowls, and I'm going to attach the other one, flipping it over like so. So now we have kind of a hurricane type of glass uh, hourglass shape then i'm going to put the hot glue uh, on the lid from the inside of the rim and then i'm going to attach this plastic bowl to it and this is what i was left with then i'm going to take this martha stewart um, gray chalk paint and i'm going to paint uh, this all the way now i wasn't really uh, completely careful i didn't want full coverage but i wanted to make sure i go in the same direction after uh, this chalk paint was done and dried, it always oxidized and it gets a little bit darker. So this is how it turned out. And then I'm going to take this white Adirondack chalk paint and a cheapy brush from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to distress it heavily, again going in the same direction all over. After I was done with that um, and when everything was completely dried, this is what I was left with. It looks beautiful already. But now I'm going to go ahead and get Antique Wax by Folk Art and I will just dab it a little bit and distress it even further. On some spots I just dabbed it and the other one I also dry brushed it like I did and I did not take it off, I left it as it is so I didn't um, want it to be smart, I wanted those uh, brushes, brush stroke to be visible and this is what I was left with. Now this is pretty light but if you want it to be heavier uh, before gluing the lid you can certainly put something heavier in those plastic balls at the beginning but look guys doesn't it look exactly the same yes it is not galvanized on the bottom and it is not glass on the top but unless somebody comes in your house and really pick it pick pick it up and you know see that it's not glass i think nobody would notice it looks absolutely the same i love how it turned out and i couldn't be happier tell me what you think about this one is there anything that you would do differently and um, just tell me your thoughts in a comment down below. And now that we saw how it looks like, let's go ahead and compare these two. So as you know, uh, theirs was $169.99 and mine was only a dollar because I used half of each Dollar Tree product. I think I did pretty good. What do you think? As I said, this video is part of the High End for Cheap collaboration uh, with my wonderful YouTube uh, crafting friends and uh, the ladies that actually organized all this or actually that are hosts of this um, collaboration are um, Jenny and Diane over at Deco Easy. Super sweet ladies. They always have great ideas and they're such a wonderful friends. Another lady that uh, was a host also for this collaboration was Kiki over at Kiki DIYs. Another great uh, person, another great lady and a great crafter. I'm going to have all of their channels linked in the description box so you can check them out as well as the playlist for this collaboration so you can see what everybody created. I'm sure they have a good um, idea, some great budget friendly ideas. Okay, now let's go ahead and start with DIY number two. Okay, I saw another Kirkland um, product. I love this one. I love the saying on it. It wasn't too expensive. It was $10.99. But, you know, you know me, I love budget things. So I knew I could recreate it for way less. Okay, so I took this Dollar Tree frame. It's like a shadow box. And first I took this uh, 3D part off. And after that, I uh, went ahead and got the black ink chalk paint by Waverly. And I taped off the inside of this frame and I'm going to give one good coat of this black chalk paint to the frame. So from the inside and outside as well. After I was completely done with painting it and drying it, this is what I was left with. 
and then after that I'm going to peel off the tape and the next step will be to paint the inside of the frame. Now um, my thought was first, uh, first I taped it off of course and first I wanted to paint it and I thought that's gonna you know solve the not problem but that's going to be my next step but however um these letters and this these flowers um was they, they were coming through kind of um it was not nice and smooth so i decided to go ahead and get a um, craft paper like a cardboard very thick um craft paper and i cut it out uh, to the size that i needed and i just simply glued it in inside of the shadow box i'm using my uh, Cricut cutter super easy and convenient and I'm just like I said using hot glue to put this in after this part was done I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the same black uh, craft paper and I am going to just um, go ahead and measure five and a half inches in my case so a little bit smaller I cut it out and then that's going to be the inside or inside part of my picture frame now um, if you want you can use a cutting machine I'm using these stickers from the Dollar Tree I put them in, on some um, leftover of, of the vinyl tape on back of the vinyl tape and I'm using this outdoor acrylic paint in a color white and I'm just painting it after three good coats and after everything was dried I had to cut out a little bit all those pieces when I peeled off the paint so it wasn't as smooth as if you would be using cutting machine but I wanted to show you that it's it can be done then um, I attached it using the Mod Podge because that sticker part it didn't really work the best and after that I made sure to use um, again Mod Podge to go over this whole thing one more time to seal it really good um, after that I'm taking these uh, two little foam pieces that I got from the beginning if you remember that a flower piece was attached to it and I'm cutting it with a box cutter in three um, pieces so now I have all these. I'm gonna be using them to raise this part off of the frame. So I'm putting four in the four corners, not really in the corners, just a little bit um, um, away from the corners and one in the middle. I'm using a hot glue to attach it and that's how I'm gonna positioning it in a frame. And that's gonna be it for this project. Doesn't it look the same? Really? I think it looks awesome. It was so, so easy to make. You saw it. And there are so many possibilities to make. This was just one of them. Um, I think, again, it was very easy to make. And as I said um, at the beginning, um, I love doing things on a budget. I love challenging myself to create something that I see somewhere else for way, way less. And I know this particular um the core piece was not too expensive to begin with. It was only $10.99, but mine cost $2. And look, they look almost the same. I'm very happy with this one. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. For all of you that are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I'm Yelena. As you saw so far, I love budget-friendly decor pieces. I love doing DIYs and uh, crafting on a budget, mostly in a rustic farmhouse style, but I can add some modern style as well. If something like that is of interest for you, please go ahead and check out my other videos. Hope you like them enough to stick around. Give this video and my other videos a thumbs up if you like them. It means so much to me. It helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube comment down below and also if you're new i would like for you to subscribe um, it is completely free but make sure you have notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos i'm on instagram pinterest and facebook for all of you that are on social media come and say hi to me i like to get to know you my regular upload times are tuesdays and fridays at 10 a.m central standard time uh, unless i'm participating in a collaboration or a challenge that can change um, things a little bit okay diy number three I saw these uh, bookends, they're marble and wood uh, at Kirkland's $24.99. Um, I knew I could recreate this uh, again for way less. And I decided I'm gonna go ahead and start with the piece of wood that I had in my garage. Using my um, jigsaw, I just cut it in ha half lengthwise. And now I was left with two triangles that I'm gonna sand because I didn't want the edges to be sharp. I wanted everything to be nice and smooth. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a tape and I'm gonna tape off 
uh, sections, same like I saw in the inspiration piece. And after I taped everything off, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, white Adirondack char char chalk paint, <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm gonna actually paint on one side the bottom and another side the top. And after that, this is how it looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tape, um, put the tape on the white portion. And this is what I meant. So I can go ahead and take um, uh, antique wax by folk art and I'm going to stain the bottom part. Now this is not going to look exactly like inspiration piece because that's marble and I actually didn't want to create marble effect. I wanted it to match my decor so this is what I um, ended up having. After taking the tape off there is a nice crisp, crisp line and I absolutely love how it turned out. Look how beautiful it is. Of course, I am not going to put this with some heavy books because this is not marble. It's not too heavy. Wood is also heavy enough to keep a few books in place. I absolutely love dark wood. Are, there are some pieces in my home that are dark, dark wood, and most of everything else is white. So this matches perfectly my decor. But if you're recreating this, of course, you can um, add the colors that you would like. This is just an inspiration and just to show you how you can create something very simple to what you see um, in the store for way, way less. And this is another way you can just position this on the books. Again, super, super cute and super simple. Now we can go ahead and see how much was the difference. Theirs was $24.99 and mine was $0. I didn't use it. <laughs> I didn't have to buy anything. Uh, it was already a leftover from the project that I had in my garage and paint was, of course, something that I had on hand. Now, uh, before I leave, I wanted to mention that a company, Juno Mallet, actually sent me beautiful, beautiful watch. They are a company that um, manufacture and sell gorgeous watches, so many different kinds, so many beautiful designs. I decided I want to try this gray one, you know, gray is my color, and I absolutely love it. They have a high quality um, watches that are not just beautiful, but there's so many designs. So if you're in a um, if you're looking for some last minute gifts, go ahead and check this one out in my description box. I'm gonna have also a code 20% off. So use that opportunity. And just to remind you, don't, don't forget to go ahead and check out my description box uh, for the playlist to see what everybody else created in this collaboration. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.